Congratulations. That's very exciting. <laughs> even though it's not first, even though it's not in person, it still counts. Yes. Yeah. Um, happy Thursday, everyone. We've done some hard work this week and we're gonna do some strength based exercises today. So less bouncing around and more just focusing on muscles and really targeting. Um, and so we're going to do that with an arm circuit and a leg circuit. So instead of going through a bunch of different exercises, we have a more limited amount of exercises and we'll go through them a few times. So we're just gonna start warming up though as we normally do. So come on up to stand, get your cycle going, give the shoulders a roll. And I really like circuits because when we do these, we're able to do the same exercises a number of times. And so our bodies can get more used to doing them and we're able to build a little bit more strength and more safely work through the different movements quicker because we know what we're doing. All right, give your neck a rock side to side, the head. And if anyone new is joining us today, checking our armbands really quickly, we want about one finger space between the band and our arm. If we have more than that, go ahead and tighten those guys up right now. And let's do a quick cap refill, uh, just as a refresher. Go ahead and hold your hand up. I wanna press the base of my palm. Notice that it turns from white and back to normal color in about three seconds. And if it does, we're good to go. Cycles are going. So let's start with some forearm exercises. We're gonna do upward wrist curl to start our forearms. So our forearm exercise and the next two exercises are just gonna be standalone and then we'll start our circuit after that. So these ones we're just gonna do our two sets and we're gonna do 30 seconds each. So upward wrist curls, I pull my elbows in and I lift up, up, up. Well, let me see what you got. Mm -hmm. Good, and you can imagine you're holding weights here. This time, normally we do it the other way. This time, lifting with the tops of the hands to really contract through the forearm muscles. And lift. Good. And we only have two 30 second sets instead of 45s or 40s for these ones because we want to start getting into that really, really tough stuff. But always, always, we want to wake up the smaller muscles before we work into bigger muscles. Yes. Good. Last 10. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. We're gonna do one more set of those. Elbows in, this time adding a little speed if you feel comfortable with it, and go. Lift and lift. Mm -hmm. and feeling those bands working, cycles are started working. I'm noticing some veins in my arms. And Steven addressed this before. If you notice your arms turning slightly darker in color, that's actually not a bad thing. So sometimes our body reacts a little bit differently to exercise when we have bands on. And that's what we want. Good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Forms are starting to work. Next up, we are doing a crab walk. So I come on down to my floor, my mat, my workspace. I lift my butt off the floor. I'm gonna walk forward and walk backwards. Now, muscles we're working here, primarily targeting the triceps. So working to keep those arms straight, butts off the floor. Let's come on down. First 30 seconds in three, two, one. We walk it forward and back. If you wanna add speed here, by all means do it. Try and keep your butt off the floor the whole time. If you want a fast walk, go for it. This is our first of two sets of these. To make it more challenging, you can lift your butt up even higher. Nice, there we go. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the wrist a roll. Because this is a short set, we're gonna pick right back up for the next one in three, two, one. Here we go, walk it out. <laughs> Butts up, nice straight arms. Wonderful, good. Last 10, 
Lift your butt up even higher. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Option to come up onto your knees, which I'm gonna do so I can see everyone a little bit better, or come on up to stand for our bicep curls. And I saw someone threw something in the chat. Let's just make sure. Awesome. Thanks, John. I was gonna say you should toss that link out there so we can all access it. Perfect. Bicep curls, elbows in. Grab your imaginary weights. Because it's only 30 seconds, I want us to do both sets as fast as you can. On your mark, get set. Here we go. In, down, in, down. Pump those arms. Squeeze those bands. Build that muscle. Yes. Good. Now notice that my upper arms are not moving at all. So I want to keep pulling the elbows into the midline of the body so that every part of my biceps are working. Yes. Amazing. Last 10. We have eight, seven, keep going, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, remember, just because your cycle is set to a certain setting, what you've been doing, doesn't mean you can't adjust up and down. So I started on the lightest setting today because that felt right for me, but I'm noticing that's a little easy. So I'm going to adjust up. So at any point you feel like your cycle needs to change, change it. That's why we have options here. Second set, bicep curl, three, two, one, 30 seconds. Good, keep them fast. Awesome, you're good. <laughs> nice, half done, keep going. All right, last 10. Squeeze, squeeze, we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and rest. Shake it out. Nice job. So we've started to warm up our upper body. Now we have three exercises that we're going to cycle through two times. So we're going to take some pauses in between them because we're going to do each exercise for a minute. So it's going to get really hard and our muscles are going to get tired. The first one is push up, shoulder tap. And you can always take these on your knees. If you so choose, you're going to come up into a plank position. I'm gonna drop down into a push-up. As I rise, I take my hand up, tap my shoulder. Drop down, other one, tap. Drop, tap. So we're coming up with one hand. Totally fine to take these on the knees. If you're feeling instable and doing that shoulder tap with the back of the hand does not feel right, just take a push-up, okay? So we've got one minute of this exercise. Find a sustainable pace. We're going in three, two, mm -hmm. One, I go push up, tap, push up, tap. And one minute of push ups is a lot of push ups. So I encourage going slowly. And let's think about the muscles that we're trying to work here. So we're doing chest, squeezing those muscles, we're working back, and we're actually working our triceps here as well. Amazing. Good job, Instagram. Push up, shoulder tap, keep going. Nice, we're half done. Looks good, George. Sophie and Sydney, good to see you guys. You were missed yesterday. <laughs> good, Bonnie. Perfect. I'm seeing people taking these off their knees. It's really hard, and I recognize the work. Good job. Nice. Good. Last 10. Keep going. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Give those arms or shoulders a stretch. So we're gonna revisit that one again in our second set. But before we do that, we come into a lateral, forearm plank, lateral lift. So I'm in a forearm plank. I lift my arm side, drop it down, side, drop it down. Now, when we do things on one arm with our upper body, it, it, we're able to strengthen each side a little bit more because that one side is forced to work harder than if I'm just holding in a regular forearm plank. So one minute, let's make our way down into our forearm. And my time is starting now and I'm just gonna start this out with you. So keeping the bend in the elbow without letting your body shift and wiggle, lifting alternating arm out to the side. And as you lift, squeeze the back of your shoulder blades, your back muscles, get those involved as well. Out and out. And you can also do these ones on your knees as well, if you so choose. And if you need to pause in forearm plank, that is fine. You're still doing something. Good. Keeping those hips stacked. 
keeping them in line with the shoulders. Amazing job. Nice, Jim. Mm -hmm. Good. We have 20 more seconds. Breathe through it. Keep working. You should be starting to feel fatigued. You should be starting to feel tired. That's the goal. This we want to go to the point of close to exhaustion for our muscles. That's how we build strength. Last 10. Keep it up. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Give the shoulders a shrug. Our last exercise of our mini circuit is a reverse plank kick. So I'll demonstrate. Coming back into this position, I drop my butt down, kick my leg up. Drop my butt down, kick my leg up. Now, yes, my lower body is moving, but it's really just to somewhat detract from the fact that my arms are supporting my whole body. So my triceps and my shoulders are doing a lot of work. Now, I know that it's been a lot on the hands today. If your arms are just completely burnt out or your wrists are tired, you can substitute this with tricep extension. Okay? Otherwise, we're going to make our way up. Wrists underneath shoulders, fingertips pointing back towards the heels. Pick yourself up one minute. We go down, kick, down, up. That's it. And I want to keep my arms straight the whole time. And we also get a nice little glute workout here. Down lift down up and i like to spread my fingers really wide because that gives me a larger foundation a bigger base to work off of. kick down kick amazing yes we are half done keep pressing the base of all 10 knuckles into the floor down up down up. And I don't know about you, but everything is starting to burn. Last 20 seconds. Keep going. If you need to just hold it and pulse, that's fine too. Your arms are still doing the work. Down. Up. Good. Last 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Give the wrist a roll. Quick wrist stretch, and then we're gonna jump into it again, those three exercises. The first one, as a reminder, it's the push-up shoulder tap. So take your right fingertips, point them down towards the floor, and take your left hand, gently guide them down, get a little deeper stretch in your wrist as you drive the base of the hand away from you. Good, switch sides. Left fingertips point down, right fingertips, right hand guides it in. Struggling with English a bit and release it. Let's make our way back. Coming into plank position again, normal plank. We're going in three, two, one. I push up, shoulder tap, down, tap. Woo. Nice. That's it. Meant to be taken slowly. Awesome, Diane. Oh, look at you guys on one arm. The shoulder taps are fast because I can tell it's difficult, but we're playing with the balance and it looks great. Oh, we're missing Chris and the swimmers today because we're swimming. <laughs> Thinking about them as we do some of our upper body work. All right, last 20 seconds. Good job, Instagram. Keep it up. We have 10, nine. Eight, last one, seven, give me two more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch out those wrists, give them a circle. Roll them out the other way. Make your way back down, this time onto your forearms for forearm plank lateral lift. So come on down. We go side, drop it, side. Drop it in three, two, and one. Lateral forearm lift. And your shoulders and your core should be working so hard that the rest of your body does not move. And a little secret here, the wider you step your feet, the easier it is to maintain good form. And I am totally okay with that. 
and down, up and down. Awesome. We are half done. 30 seconds left. Always okay to pause and forearm plank. Ooh, shoulders should be burning out. Mm -hmm. All right, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Give me four more. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop them. Pass the hands. Open up the shoulders, the chest. Last up, we have our reverse plank kicks. Then we're gonna get our heart rate up one of two times today, that's it. And then we're gonna swap out our bands and have the question of the day. So make your way back down to sit. If you want more of a challenge, you can take this one with straight legs. I drop down, kick, down, kick, alternating legs, otherwise, Bent knees. I'm not feeling like bent knees is the right thing for me today. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Drop your butt down. Lift. Down. Lift. My shoulders are not moving. They are just holding down the fort. Maybe doing it with straight legs. Maybe trying half and half. Up. Down. And up. All right, these look great. Get those glutes working as well. Why not? We are half done. Last exercise for the upper body. Up, down, and up. I love it. Last 20 seconds. Starting to feel everything shake and burn. Keep those arms straight and strong. 15, don't give up on me now. Now maybe we can add a little bit of speed. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Everybody come on up to stand. Quick tricep stretch, right arm across the body. Ooh. Switch it up, left arm across the body. Damn, Laurel. Those are hard. I know. I was doing it with you, though. <laughs> my, my, my cycle's going. I'm with you guys. Woo! It's a strength day. Man. We're not going to bounce around a lot today. We're just going to settle into a certain exercise and really work it. I know it's tough. But I'm watching the form. Everyone looks great. Okay. So our three moves are ball slams. I grab my imaginary ball, toss it up, down. I'm coming on to my tiptoes, up down that's 30 seconds next 30 seconds we're doing knee to elbow so i rotate my right foot out to the side my left foot in the main thing i want you to focus on here is keeping your elbows glued together i go in 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 now they're going to want to separate don't let them do that second 30 seconds we're going the other way okay starting with ball slams we have four three two and one take it up down up down. This is only 30 seconds. We can do this. If you want to add a jump, add a jump. Down. Fully keep those arms straight. Woo. <laughs> Half done. Uh, last 10. Then we're coming into elbow to knee in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Elbows together. Rotate the toes to the right. Here we go. Bring it up. Up, squeeze the elbows the whole time. These ones kill me for some reason. I don't know, they just do. There we go. That's it. Half done. Keep squeezing those elbows. Yes. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Other side, right into it. Here we go. And this is only the first of two times we're doing this. We only got one more. So let's make this go. Up, up. Here we go. Half done. 
All right, nice. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I wore myself out. I'm tired. Let's swap out those bands. Grab your leg bands. Grab a big sip of water. We have not hydrated that much in our practice so far. We'll take a big sip. Hey, while everybody's hydrating, uh, I put a link to that show on Saturday in the notes if anybody wants it. 7 a.m. Pacific time, which is not so bad for you, John, on East Coast time. <laughs> a little bit earlier for those of us on the West Coast. All right, question of the day is, where were you born? Getting an idea. We did heritage. We did where you want to go. Where are you from? Where were you born? That's the question of the day. As we saw about our band from arms to legs. What was that? My dad was Air Force, so I spent the first week of my life at Lackland Air Force Base, San Antonio. And then we went to California. <laughs> and how long were you in California after that? Uh, I grew up in the Bay Area, in uh, Pleasant Hill, Walnut Creek, Concord, that area up at, at near San Francisco for uh, 20 years, I guess. 19. Oh, yeah. Okay. I knew that. I'm Northern California, Bay Area-ish. I knew we had that in common. What else we got? Diane says, Ridgecrest, California, high Mojave Desert. Cool. Hmm. Steve says, Sophia was born 10 minutes after Sydney. Jim says, Long Beach. Sophia and Sydney, Newport Beach. Steve says, General Hospital in downtown Los Angeles. George is El Paso, Texas. Port Arthur, so, Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. So we have California, Texas, and Ontario. And that's it. That's all of us? <laughs> all right. All right. And Bonnie, your family is still in Ontario, correct? Some of them are? No, part of them are in British Columbia. Okay, okay. But you still have family in Canada? Got yeah. It. Yeah. Beautiful. What part of BC? A little place called Asoyas. Just north of the, uh, just north of the um, Washington border. So. Learning so much. It's really cool. <laughs> Great. I'll have to check that out on Google Maps. All right, a lot of California folks here. Not shocked. <laughs> we like to do outdoor things. We like fitness, it's kind of a California trait. We've got our Texas kids and Canada. All right, so. For our legs, we're going to start with a jump rope to wake up our calves. Um, and then we have four moves that we're going to go through either two or three times, depending how we're doing on time. So let's come on up to stand and just start by stepping the feet wide. Let's open up the hips a little bit before we get going. Good. Hands across the chest. Bend and rise, say five times, straight spine, opening up the hips and the hamstrings. And then keeping my back nice and flat here for three. Yes. Oh, and I guess I didn't answer. I'm from born in Sacramento, California. Two. And made it all the way to LA. And then I stopped. It didn't go very far. And one. All right. So we are going to jump rope for one minute. Then our exercises are burpees, lunge jump bear frog, and squat jump heel lift. Sounds like a lot, we'll walk through it all together. So one minute of jump ropes, I'm tucking my device in so it doesn't go flying. I want you to try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. So we're gonna go in four, three, two, and one. So I'm getting my heart rate up just by doing our first exercise. Good, so the goal here is to focus on the calves. So really pointing those toes as you jump up. And jump roping can be up and down. It can be side to side. You can jump forwards and backwards. So play with it. Make it fun. Nice. And I'm going to jump around. Maybe jump to the side. Maybe jump back. <laughs> Half done. 
Good. Maybe you swing your rope twice. Yeah, getting that heart rate up while the calves are getting a burn. 20 more seconds. Jump rope the opposite direction. Maybe jump rope on one foot. <laughs> yeah, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're starting off hot today with burpees. Uh, does anyone want to demonstrate a burpee for me? Anyone? No? No takers? Thanks, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'll demonstrate. So we start standing, reach up, hands to floor, jump back, push up, jump up, leap. Come down, jump back, push up, up, and jump. Now, alterations to that, you can come up at the top, step back, drop your knees for the push up, step up, and either reach or jump at the top. So modifying wherever we need to, we're doing a full minute. So we're gonna start standing, we're gonna take the jump at the top, and then we're gonna come down in three, two, one. We jump up, come down, hop back. Push up, jump up, give me a hop. One minute. Your variation of burpees, modifications, totally cool. Stopping movement, not as cool. Try and do your best to keep going even if you are tired, unless you're strictly exhausted, in which case stop, take a break, pause. That's always cool. Half done. These look great. Everyone on Instagram, keep going. Burpees, hop to it. Last 15 seconds. Keep moving, keep moving. Also notice that you are please breathing here into the nose, out of the mouth. Regulate that stuff. We have seven, six, five, one more, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Grab a sip of water if you want it. Our next exercise, observe, then we'll do it together. Lunge, jump. And it's been about two weeks since we've done these. So we're hopping. If jumping is not your move today, reverse lunge. You got the idea, okay? One minute. Then we're gonna take a quick water break after this and do our second two exercises and cycle through them again. Lunge, jump, on your mark. Get set, one minute, let's go. You can do whatever you want with your hands. You can take them down by your sides. If you want more of a challenge, hands behind the head. And if you're feeling good here, add some speed. So everything we're doing here to build strength is challenging enough. And it's also gonna get our heart rate up. A little two for one. Good. Maybe get deeper into it. Get that back knee down even lower. Now we're building strength. That's the stuff. So we started warming up the body and we're diving even deeper. Nice, Diane. Yes. Bigger bends into the back knee, guys. Come on, work into it. Amazing. Good. Woo, there we go. Last 15 seconds. Give me what you got. This is going to be hard. It's going to be something you're going to want to stop. Keep going. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. And we don't have to do our second set again until we roll through it again. Take a break, sip, water, move, stretch. All right. Now observe. Next up, bear frog. We are so familiar with bear position. We do this all the time. But this time, I want you to take your feet nice and wide. So normally I have them in line with my hips. I want them wide. I lift up into bear. I press back, frog, bear, frog, bear. If this is not working for you for some reason, air squats. Sometimes for some people, this is too hard on their knees, even though your knees are technically not on the floor. Now, one common mistake that I see when we do these is when we press our butt back, we go up like this. I want you to press your butt down. Shift down. Okay? One minute. On your mark. Get set. Here we go. Yeah. You go back. As you go forward, try and make it explosive. Boom. Boom. 
Each time, press your butt back even more. And we don't need to extend our shoulders much past our wrists. So this is too far. I want bear, frog, bear, frog. Thighs are gonna burn out. Speed doesn't matter. If you're taking the air squats, keep your chest up. We want nice straight spine as we do it. Nice, George. Good. Everyone doing bear frog, keep pulling your butt even lower. Don't let it pike out. Awesome. 20 more seconds. Go for that shake, that burn. Yes. All right. Give me five more. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come on up to stand. Couple butt kicks to release your quads. Okay, we've been building. This is gonna be, in my opinion, the hardest exercise we're gonna do today. Doesn't mean big, bad, scary. It just means that it might feel uncomfortable as you first start to do it. Be patient, take your time. We do it to grow stronger. Squat, jump, heel lift. So I'm gonna demonstrate one variation of this. There are modifications. I come into a squat. I tap my heels, I lift, squat, tap, lift, squat, tap, lift. If that's not working for you, squat, rise, lift, squat, rise, lift. You can skip the jump, okay? All right, one minute, take your time. Ready, set, go, squat, tap, lift, squat, tap, lift. Awesome. <laughs> Requires a lot of balance. Working to get those heels up at the top. Ooh, body amazing. <laughs> it's terrible. They're so terrible. I was practicing these in my living room and I was like, this is terrible. They're so hard. We definitely need to do them. <laughs> amazing. Yes. John, fantastic. He's flying. Last 20 seconds, burn it out. After this, we're gonna do our heart rate boost and then we take a full minute of rest and reset. We have 10, nine, eight, give me two more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, gang. All right, second of our heart rate boost. Ball slam, knee to elbow other side, right? Step wide, spot position. We're familiar with this. We were just here. Ball slams on your mark. Get set. Here we go. We go up, down, up, down. Does this movement very similarly mimic what we just did? Yes, but we're used to it. So now we're going to do it with speed to get our heart rate up and up. Yes. And if you substituted squats for the bear frogs, you're doing a whole lot of squats today, but squats are one of my favorite exercises. So you're welcome. Good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate the toes to the right foot to the right. Squeeze your elbows together. 30 seconds. We go up, up, up. I like to clasp my hands to remind me to keep my elbows together so they're not kind of flailing. Squeeze, squeeze. That's the stuff. Half done. Pick it up. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Come on. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Other side on your mark. Get set. Squeeze those elbows. Let's go. Keep them squeezed. <laughs> Woo. Getting some balance going as well. That's the staff. We are half done. Up, up, up. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One minute rest. You can grab water. You can do whatever you want, but 
try not to sit down. We don't want to let lactic acid build up on our muscles. We can mope around, move the shoulders around. If you want something extra, there is no pressure to do this. I'm going to take a couple good mornings to get a stretch across the back of my legs. So optional to hinge forward. No rounding out the spine. Keep it straight. Rise back up. And I'm going to take five more. If you just want to hang out and breathe, that is fine here. This is your time, your rest. Good. Last three. We have two. And last one. All right. Who's ready? We're going to go through that again. Let's see. Time-wise, we are going to go through it one more time. So give it all you've got. Let's make it good. Technically, it's only four minutes of work, so we can definitely do this. Starting out with burpees, rise on up to the top of your space. We're going to start with that jump up. We go down, hop back, push up, up, jump. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. Up, down, back, push up, hop up. There we go. I like these. Arms are working, legs are working, core is working, brain is working. Awesome. Ooh, I'm seeing a lot of speed here. Instagram, are you going fast or are you going slow? I don't know. Can't see you. I can only see my Zoom folks. Getting toasty. We're breaking a sweat. All right. Last set of burpees of the day, last set of burpees of the week. We have 20 more seconds. Woo. Movement, movement, keep going. All right, counting down, last 10 seconds. Give me two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Awesome, George, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Lunge jumps. Now, the first set, and I will admit fault for this. I was kind of just jumping. For this second set, we are familiar with the move. So whether you're doing the reverse lunge step or the jump lunge, I want us all to hold ourselves accountable and each other for getting our back knee lower. So we go down, down. Otherwise, we're just jumping. We're not really doing anything. We want to build strength. One jump, three, two, one, go. Nice, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Fantastic, good. Making sure our chest is up, we have a nice straight spine. We're not getting slouchy here. In the name of building leg strength, our whole body is being supported. Little secret, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. It always helps for going faster because you'll have more control over your body. Half done. Nice. All right. I'll jump in for our last 20 seconds. Let's do it. Woo! 15 more seconds. Going out with the bang. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh my goodness. Legs are dying. Kick them out. Okay, next up, frog, bear, bear, frog. I come down onto my hands and knees. I step my feet wide, I take my knees wide. I hover my knees off the floor, I press back, boom. Back, forward, that's it. One minute, ready, set, go. Good. And those quads, those thighs, are really gonna be burning here. Nice, Diane. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, body. Vero and Charles, I can't see you, but keep doing good work. It's nice to have you here. We are half done. 
keep moving. Even if you need to hold in bare position and hold for a moment, keeping the knees off the floor, that's better than nothing because your thighs are still working. Mm -hmm. 20 more seconds. Then we're gonna take a break, have some water. Yes, 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 keep it up, keep it up. Last 10, come on, let me see you do three more for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody come up to stand for a moment. Not for a moment, because the next exercise is standing. Option to take some butt kicks or just straight up grab one of your ankles for a quad stretch. It's a lot of work on these guys. Now, last up, we have squat, jump, heel lift. For this one especially, let go of any conceived notion of how many you should be doing and just do as many as you can. This is really hard. It requires a lot of strength and balance. And I'll demonstrate again so we can all get on the same page. All right, so squat, jump, heel lift. I go squat, jump, lift. So I'm jumping from squat and landing in squat. Squat, jump, lift. Squat, jump, lift. One minute, let's go. For a modification, you can just do regular squats or you can try squat, tap, lift. Squat, tap, lift. So it's a little bit easier on the joints, but you're still getting that one-legged work. Otherwise, let me see you jump. Perfect. Looks great, George. I love it. Oh my goodness, Sophia and Cindy are jumping. Look at you girls go. You must be exhausted. You're doing amazing. Born 10 minutes apart in Newport Beach, California and often jump in a very synchronized way. There they go, good. Last 20 seconds. Jam looks great. John's got his dog. <laughs> good, we have 10, nine, eight, three more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We did it. Let's take a stretch slash balance, so step the legs wide and start to rock side to side, lifting alternating legs. Should be an exercise on its own. So this is like when we do pendulum swing, but we're playing more with balance and getting that side leg up. So we did a lot today, keep going, building the front and the backs of our legs as well as our glutes. We did not do very much building the sides of our hips. And that's my one gripe with a lot of normal exercises is that we're focused on the front and the back, but we don't think inner and outer. We're working into the outer a little bit as well as challenging our core and our balance. Good, 30 more seconds. Pendulum swing. So that's similar to when we do swing, swing, kick. We're just doing a little slower version. Good, last 20. And as you kick that leg up, we don't want to get slouchy. Keep the body straight. Awesome. Last 10. And we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands to your hips. Circle them around. Release. And come back through center. Soak around the other way. Now, because we strengthened the outer edges of our legs, I also want us to strengthen the inner edges of the legs. And this is the last thing we're gonna do. So I'll come standing to the side so you can really see it. I come into the right big toe, I angle that toe out, and I kick up, up. Does it kind of mimic a ballet move? Yes. Is it important to have really strong inner thighs to support our bodies? Also yes. So who cares what it mimics or what it looks like? It's really good for us. And as you're doing this, you're extending your big toe away from you the whole time and you're working your balance, using your core to get that leg up. We're doing every part of our leg muscles today. Good, half done. Kind of harder than they appear. 
Last 10, nice straight spine. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Other leg, come on to the left big toe. Angle the toe to the left, kick it up 30 seconds. After this, we have core, and then we are done. And tomorrow is a mobility and flexibility day. So yes, we will also be getting our heart rate up. We'll be doing some strength. We'll also be challenging our body in a little different way. Nice, half done. Woo, get it up even higher. Keep those toes angled out. Last 10. First six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Our core moves. We come on down. I've got 30 seconds oblique twist side to side. If you're needing more of a challenge, take your feet off the floor. I have 30 seconds. Penguin, I'm on my back, reaching down to alternate heels, better yet, alternating toes. And then last set, bicycles. So today, we're working our obliques, the sides of our abs, a lot. Focusing on sides of our legs and sides of our abs. Gotta give love to all parts of the body. So first 30 seconds, oblique twist, ready, set, here we go, side to side. Good, maybe take the feet off the floor. As you do it, looking over the back shoulder, twist, up, twist. I love it. Last 10. We have seven, six. We're gonna come down onto our backs in four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down reaching down towards the heels, the sides of the feet. I love that these are called penguins because I just picture a little happy penguin like lying on his back. Even though I think this is mimicking how they stand when they waddle. Eh, a happy penguin's a happy penguin. Nice. Last five, four, three, Two and one, hands behind the head, last 30 seconds. Bicycles, I don't care how fast you take them, I want you to find contact between your elbow and your knee. Better yet, tap your elbow to the outer edge of your knee. Get all the way up off both shoulders, side to side. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Woo, these look good, we done well today. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Grab the backs of the hamstrings, active hamstring stretch. We kick up, we pull our heels in towards our butt. We kick up, we drop our heels down. We have 10 of them. If you want more of a challenge, pull the knees in even closer towards your chest. Yes. Yeah. And last six. And five. Four. There we go. Two. On this next one, kick the legs straight. Walk your arms up your legs so that your arms are straight, but your shoulders are resting on the floor. And keep driving your heels towards the ceiling as you pull your toes in towards your shins. Good, pull the knees into the chest. Rock and roll up and down along your spine. Come on up to sit and then make your way up to stand. One more time because we did a lot of quad work today. Reach back, grab one of your ankles, doesn't matter which one. Totally fine to take your other hand to a hip, a chair, or a wall. My imaginary wall. Good, switch sides. Keep pulling the knees together. Grow a little bit taller. Release it, reach your arms up, bring your hands together, give yourself a round of applause. Awesome work, everybody.
strength circuit. And I know John tossed the link into the chat. Uh, if anyone would like to see the live running event this Saturday at 7 a.m. Pacific time. And if anyone on Instagram is interested in the event, you can go ahead and shoot us a message. Awesome job, everyone. We'll be back here same time tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.